Well, for those people in the KRG who are opposed to the timing of this vote, there clearly is concern. And there is some opposition among different communities, including the Turkmen, including some people who support the Garan movement in Suleimania. But overwhelmingly, it is a show of support for the referendum and for independence. It's a very simple ballot paper. It's a yes or no, do you support uh, independence or do you not? Speaking to people across the KRG over the last week, almost everyone you speak to says that they will be voting yes, but of course they realise, as we just heard in that uh, soundbite, that things won't change overnight. So when they wake up on Tuesday morning, it's not as though we're going to see an independent Kurdish regional government area or a new country, but they will have certainly indicated to the international community what their will is. And that seems to be yes for independence. Nicole, I want to flash to these live pictures here. Uh, we're starting to see some activity at polling stations. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the mood there and exactly how this process is going to work and how this vote uh, could lead to independence. There is a great deal of uncertainty about how things are going to proceed over the last few days. There has been concern about whether the Kurdish regional government was prepared enough even to conduct this voting. Some 12,000 different polling stations across the KRG, 50 here in Erbil alone. Uh, it's a huge undertaking for the government here. So there, there was worry about whether or not they had everything in place. But what you mainly felt here was a real sense of nationalism. The KRG is draped in flags at the moment. There were rallies being held from one end of the territory to the other. However, once you move into, let's say, uh, the camps for internally displaced Iraqis, into disputed areas such as Sinjar, Bashika, Makmur, there was concern about what would happen. Towns that were once, towns and villages that were once on the Iraqi side of the border are now on the KRG side of the border. Since the KRG pushed Daesh out of many of those disputed territories and took control of that area. So there are many unanswered questions for people living here about what will happen the next day. But for now, it really does seem as though people will go and vote, and most people say they'll be voting yes.